Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coaches like to say no game is more important than any other. But when you have a couple of top 10 teams ready to square off, yeah, that one carries a little more weight. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. And here's the return. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Split backs here. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Just what the doctor ordered to get away from the shadow of that goal post and pick up a first down at the 23. Really nice run there. Now, listen, you know, modern day college football, I know it's all about spread offense and throwing the football and going up tempo and scoring quickly, but man, you think back to Bear Bryant in Alabama, doesn't it always seem like they've always wanted to establish the run game? They have always wanted to be physical. Bear Bryant would have loved this guy in his backfield. With his physical style of running, man, he fits that just perfect. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and 10. Takes the handoff, it's Haynes. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are gonna turn into longer runs. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Taking it the other way. Touchdown, Georgia. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Oof, and after that pick six, not the start this quarterback wanted. You're going to have to be really good about having a short-term memory and just turn the page. There is tons of football here to be played. You made a big mistake on that last throw don't let it beat you for the rest of this football game we've got a lot of ball left to play we got to keep going and with the extra point they get the first seven of the game they're about to kick it away and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six and no chance at a return here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Here comes that Alabama offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a... And it's intercepted! A turnover from the defense. He was looking for running room, but they get him down at the 28, and now they are set up. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Excellent field position here for the offense. They're going to run it to the right. Discards a man. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy. Got some room in under the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Looks like he's going to try to return it. 
He goes out of bounds on that return right at the 20-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He's going to take off. At the 45 on his way. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. Fires to the right. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Looking for space, it's ETN. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. The give to the back. At the 40, there he goes. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It works so well. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. The lone back's got it. And he could not get loose on the run. That's a great individual play. And I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to fight. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. Got the quick pass. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Looking to throw, it's back. He's got it on the move. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for room, it's ETN. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be set. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, dogs! Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And they finished it off with the score from the four. He'll bring it out. It's Bernard. He stopped there, but a good return coming out of his own end zone gets him to the 28. Here comes that Alabama offense. 
These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese gets away from one. He's got space. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Alabama quickly back to the line. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this movement in football now, all the stemming, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard in this one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Grabbed in the middle, it's Bernard. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They'll run for it on fourth down. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Right down the middle. Makes a connection. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Not at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. Setting up the screen. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And they're going to try this on fourth down. They need a full five yards to get it into the end zone, but they'll go for it. Throw into the end zone. It's picked off. Bring in the heat. And they get the takeaway and prevent points from going up just before the end of the half. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. They'll throw it on first down. Finds the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He's going to fire deep. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. Just about set for the second half kickoff. Looking for blockers. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. On the move at the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Georgia comes quickly to the line. They'll try the run. 
good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with the first down at the 31. And the dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Quick completion on the out. Not just hard-nosed running, that cement-nosed running as he gets it to the 25. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Leaves it with the running back. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. Got enough space. Touchdown, Georgia. And the stomping has commenced. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. A little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Final minute now of the third quarter. To the air, it's Milrow. He'll pull it down. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? It's just really hard to stop in the defensive perspective. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Nowhere close on that one as he got well trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. The back goes in motion. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Grab behind the line, it's Haynes. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. They'll immediately call timeout. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Fires to the middle. And that is his fifth interception. If he comes out to try for six, he'll be lucky. He couldn't quite get loose on that return, but he'd already made the play, and they've got it at the 35. They'll start this drive with a pass. Quickly out to the tight end. Breaks the tackle. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. And now on second down for this offense. They think there's room to run to the right here. Spins away from the defender. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. At the 35, he's loose. Nothing but green ahead. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. And the Bulldogs line it up with a first and goal. Quarterback checking the play. Looking downfield, it's back. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. 
defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll throw again after the incompletion. He makes a grab. Touchdown, Bull. 